And uh, probably that's the essence of human civilization. Well, but if, if it were to be possible uh, that these machines mm. could come to have a self and I, mm. a consciousness just like we do, mm. then we would need to treat them just like other sentient beings. Otherwise, this would not be appropriate. So it's very important to um, make sure we know that they don't, mm -hmm. because if they do mm -hmm. and we are mistaken, so you don't want you want you don't want them to have consciousness. Oh, uh, 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 it's not a matter of what I want. It, it's simply a matter of how it's then going again, to be. See whether they have consciousness or not. Again, it will depend by the yardstick that we judge them. Then everything is imputed. Well, exactly, yeah. and, and so let me ask you, just out of curiosity, mm. do you think I have consciousness? Of course you do. What makes you think that? You're talking, you're intelligent, uh, and uh, you uh, there, exude a certain amount of emotion. And if he uh, kicks there, you, there, you'll there, kick there, back. There, if I kick you... There are, all, <laughs> there are already <laughs> machines that will do all of that. I see. But, but they won't kick you. But they're programmed. So are you. No. Well, if you no. program the computer to kick you back when you kicked it, would it no, be consciousness? I'm programmed in the sense that I receive certain amount of gene from my mom and dad. Exactly. And, but and, that's and not and programming. Then, that's then, evolution. Well, then what, what, what I am saying is that there will be evolution with the machines. Well, yeah, you can't rule out the possibility.